Warning. All displays of negativity will be deliciously repackaged and properly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Now if you're ready, come on in. What's going on, Champagne Gang? <laughs> so as many of you know, a uh, few months ago, I lost my grandbaby. I did a whole video on it. Um, my daughter finding out her baby's heart stopped when she was seven months pregnant and uh, me being by her side as she delivered the baby. So on yesterday, we finally had the baby's memorial service. We wanted to wait until, you know, summer where it's sunny outside and just to not have that gloominess, you know, of the spring and the winter rain and cloud or whatever. Um, so I helped my daughter plan, plan for it, um, prepare for it, should I say, you know, help her set up the balloons at, um, the funeral home uh, one of my friends owns a funeral home so she made sure the arrangements and everything were made for the baby free of charge y'all i'm sorry but setting up for her memorial felt like it opened the womb all over again seeing her urn setting her urn up setting the balloons up around it my daughter had a picture of her blown up. So seeing her little face again, you know, if you've never seen a baby come out not breathing, I don't know if you'll ever understand how hard it is. I can only imagine how much harder it had to be for my daughter. Knowing this baby girl she wanted, pray for. And my grandson wanted, pray for she wouldn't be able to enjoy her past that moment and to be honest with you i think this is one of the things that we miss on social media when we're blogging when we're talking about other people's issues we miss the vulnerability people being able to be vulnerable a lot of times it's because the internet is a weird place it is some of y'all are weird some of y'all are weird some of y'all are hateful some of y'all are spiteful some of y'all are evil some of you are bitter so bitter you couldn't say nothing positive if it was stuffed down your throat with vodka but i wanted to come on to let my confidence know that's why you haven't seen a lot of videos within the last week because we were preparing for the memorial service we had the memorial service yesterday it was beautiful um family showed up friends showed up took pictures with my daughter with the baby these are the kind of things that i probably would share in my membership to members only when i get monetized um, but i wanted to be able to share with you a very real moment for me because a lot of times we don't understand we don't we don't understand i don't understand why my grandbaby wasn't able to make it <laughs> my daughter wasn't drinking she wasn't smoking what was even harder for me was seeing my daughter break down because she thought there was something that she could have possibly done wrong to cause her baby to pass. Like maybe she was working too much or working too hard. She has another son to take care of. And me having to explain to her, even not fully understanding myself, but trusting God because he has the final say, having to tell her, baby, I get it. I understand sometimes these things happen. We have no control over it. I had to literally show my daughter pictures and videos of other babies that were born with malfunctions or deformities that we can't explain. Uh, I think I showed her the, the twins that share the same body but have two different heads. I showed her, um, oh God, so many different videos. And I just told her, see, baby, this wasn't on you. Sometimes things happen. And we don't know why God didn't allow baby Kanila to stay with us. But we also don't know what God might have been protecting her from in taking her 
we knew um, a few months into the pregnancy that the baby had a heart condition. Now we did know one side of her heart was developing, the other side wasn't. But for seven months, um, it was like she didn't care. Uh, her heart rate was only beating at like an 80 and they said it should have been like 110 or something like that but every ultrasound she was kicking she was moving and she was fighting she was sucking her thumb she was so the doctors were saying well it doesn't look like the baby concerned about her condition but we got to keep an eye on her and then uh, one day my daughter went to her ultrasound appoint appointment and the baby's heart was not beating. Uh, so I flew in to be with her because there was no way I was letting her go through that by herself. I went through it with a friend of mine and I was there by my friend's side when her daughter was going through it. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video. Not for all you hell hounds and hellions out there that have nothing better going for yourself or your life than to be on the internet being keyboard warriors and super cyber thugs. But for the mothers out there who have lost a child, lost a child in childbirth, who have lost a child in utero, who even lost a child after birth, for all the grandparents out there like myself who have been by your children's side to hold their hands through those losses. I wanted to make this video to let you know you're not alone. I have had to pause and cut and paste this video <laughs> so many times, but you're not alone. I know it hurts. It may hurt for a while, but you got this. You can make it through. Our babies will always be in our heart, even if they're no longer in our arms. Let those babies, if you tuned into any of my Wellness Waves Wednesdays, you'll know that I always tell you when you're trying to overcome hurt, depression, anxiety, limiting beliefs, you have to find something and pull on something that's greater than yourself. Let the love for those babies be the thing that you pull on to help pull you out of where you are. Let them be your inspiration. And many times it's hard for us to heal because we don't know how to let go. We hold on to the memory as if the memory is the personification of the individual when that individual is no longer with us. And it's hard for us to focus because sometimes we feel so much guilt. I wish I could have said this. I wish I could have done this. I should have done more. And then the midst of hurting, not only are we trying to breathe life into the individual that we've lost, but we're also consistently breathing life into the guilt that we feel. So we as individuals have to learn how to let go of the guilt. It's not your fault. Sometimes we have to sit back and say, God knows best. God knew best. We might not understand it, but he does. So that one day we can look back on the memories of our loved ones and smile because we know they're in our heart, they're in our mind. Even if they're not in our arms, even if they're not in our presence, and we can be at peace. Because in a world that's chaotic, you got to find peace, even in the midst of loss. That's why stories about celebrities, stories about Krishan and her baby, that's why those kind of stories affect me so much. Because my daughter wasn't drinking, she wasn't smoking. And that's why I come on here to share with you guys the way that I do. This, for me, isn't about the money. Do I want to be monetized? Everybody does. But I don't do this for money. <laughs> Every video I post has my cash app on it. It does. But do you know how many cash apps I have received from the videos that I've done? Only one. And I'm so grateful for that one. But that lets you know everything that you see from the characters I create to the videos, to the scenes, to the editing, everything, to the intros. I do all that myself. <laughs> And it's a lot for one person without a team, you know what I'm saying? But I do it 
because I always want my voice to be used to help someone else, to help encourage someone else. Even in the midst of the stories that we talk about, I always want to be a voice that helps and encourages and helps to pull you out of where you are, even in the midst of my own pain. My grandbaby passed away in March. You know how many videos I've done since March? Because I take that pain and I turn it into passion. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do. Take your pain, turn it into your passion so that you can step into your future and walk into your destiny. Life is gonna life, baby. Life is gonna happen. But we can all make it through. We can all make it out. We can all make it through and out together. And as long as you're attached to me (laughs) and to Champagne Secrets, we're all gonna make it out together. When God pulls me up, I swear to God, everything attached to me is coming up too. If you gotta cry your way through it, baby, I'll cry with you. If you gotta scream your way through it, I'll hold your hand so you can let it out. If you gotta cuss your way through it, (laughs) baby, I speak Jesus and cuss fluently. I got your back. So everybody that's attached to Champagne Secrets, know that this channel was created for a purpose. And I'm not gonna stop until that purpose is fulfilled. So I love y'all. That's all I have for right now. For everyone that watched, thank you. For everyone that wants to check out the first video that I did on my grandbaby, uh, I will attach it to this one. But keep your head up. Keep growing. Keep glowing. Keep moving. Keep progressing. Don't stop. Because if you stop, baby, all of it is then in vain. We don't want that. Confidence. Always remember. If it doesn't cause you to elevate. It's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink and let's drink. Till we meet again. Ta-ta.